Alabama at LSU plus three. LSU is at home and an underdog. And you have to wonder if Alabama head coach Kalen DeBoer, if he watched last year's Alabama film against LSU, because if he did, he might not need to cook up his usual elite game plan. Because last year against LSU, Jalen Milrow, the Tides quarterback, carried the ball 20 times for 155 yards. Not one, not two, not three, but four touchdowns. However, though, over the last four SEC contests, Jalen Milro is averaging 27 rushing yards per game. And it makes you wonder if Kalen DeBoer will even try to find out if design quarterback runs are still a weakness for this Tigers defense. And considering South Carolina's quarterback Lenora Sellers had 88 rushing yards and two touchdowns against LSU earlier this season, that should definitely be a, a contemplation and part of the game plan. Now, on the LSU side of things, Kyron Lacey and Aaron Anderson have been dominating at wideout. And outside of Alabama's win over Georgia, only two receivers this year have even hit 80 yards in a game. Tennessee's Brew McCoy and Wisconsin's Will Pauling have done that. And if LSU wants to win this game, they're going to have to have a ground attack. But against any legitimate run defense this year, LSU has not looked bad. They have looked absolutely god-awful and terrible. LSU's star freshman running back, Caden Durham, against Ole Miss, Texas A&M, and UCLA. That's right. UCLA is still an elite run defending team. He had a combined 66 rushing yards on 29 carries. Now, everything about this game, outside of the location, sets up for an Alabama route. But Kalen DeBoer, I'm not sure he's not going to big brain this game into a contest by being too cute. Now, if you're game planning for the 2024 LSU Tigers, the right answer is to punch them in the mouth over and over and over and over and over and over again, Marshawn Lynch style. But will Alabama do that? Now, I am going to go with a resounding no on that one. And everything in me wants to pick Alabama to win this game. But I'm not. I'm going to take the LSU Tigers plus three.